Hello and welcome to another edition of Tridec Tech Tips. My name is Steve Ecker and in this edition I'm going to show you how to create a thread that follows along a non-cylindrical or non-conical boss. The challenge here today is going to be to create the path for our swept cut. Typically when we create a thread uh, on a cylindrical boss we're able to use the helix as our path for the swept cut. In this instance, however, the helix tool alone will not allow us to follow along this non-cylindrical or non-conical surface. So to get around this, the trick is going to be to create a swept surface, which we'll then use to create an intersection curve along these faces. So let's jump into the non-completed model and see how we can accomplish this. Starting off, I need to create the path sketch for my swept surface. This path sketch just needs to follow right through the middle of my model. And it's going to be important that the length of this path is equal to the height of my helix that I'm going to use as a guide curve. Now I need to sketch a circle that will then be used for the creation of my helix. Just make sure that this circle is larger than the boss that you're going to be creating the thread on. Now insert your helix, go to insert, curve, helix spiral, and I'm going to use the height and revolution option here, and again just make sure that the height is equal to the length of your path line. Okay, now that we've got our path sketch, we've got our guide curve, we need to create the profile sketch for our swept surface. And this is just going to be a line that connects the path to the guide curve. In order to connect it to the guide curve, I'm going to have to add a Pierce relation between the end point of the line and my guide curve. All right, now we're ready to create our swept surface using uh, my last sketch. For the, for the profile, the first sketch as my path, and for my guide curve, I will use the helix. Okay, now that we've got our swept surface, we can create an intersection curve between this surface and the surfaces that we want our thread on. I need to insert a 3D sketch and then insert my intersection curve by going to Tools, Sketch Tools, Intersection Curve. Select the three surfaces here and SolidWorks will create my path curve. Okay, now just to clean things up, I'm going to hide my my swept surface and my helix and now we need to create the profile for our swept cut uh, but we want the profile to be on a sketch plane that is normal to my path at the end point so first we'll create a reference plane using the normal to curve option Use your curve and the endpoint that you want the sketch point on. Then we can start our sketch. I'm going to jump into a normal two view. And I'm just going to use a circle as my profile. However, this can be anything you want. Just make sure it's a closed profile. And we're ready to create our swept cut. So the circle is my profile, and my path is the intersection curve or the 3D sketch.
And there you have it. We've created a thread along a non-cylindrical, non-conical boss. Thank you for watching this edition of Tridec Tech Tips.